What's going on everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Revival Reconalization, which is kind of like a civilization type game. Um, we are going to play the tutorial today because I don't have time to be recording a 4 hour video on the main game. Because the games take like 3-4 hours, it's crazy. Uh, so we're just going to do a tutorial. The tutorial you still see quite a lot of the game and it has a little bit of story to it. So it's actually worth doing this one. We're just going to jump straight in. I miss the light of a thousand stars falling from the sky. I heard the voice of a god created in our own image. And when the All Mind spoke, the Earth I knew was no more. And here we go. Right, welcome. Revival is a turn based strategy game set in the post apocalypse version of Earth. This game uses a dynamic tooltip system. Try hovering over blue coloured text, okay. Yeah, so this is our character, Tania Olaza. This cryopod is so tight, all my bones ache. Good to see you awake, my lady. You have slumbered for more than a thousand years. Wow. Good to see you too, Clam. Oh my god, Clam. If I'm awake, does that mean the human race has survived? Give me a brief situational report. It is July 18th. The temperature is 6 degrees Celsius. The settlement of barbarized humans was found nearby. I've already prepared the natives for your arrival. I've marked their location in the map. The global network is down. We are offline, my lady. No internet? Oh, I couldn't be living in this world. No internet? This is the most terrible piece of news so far. Well, let's go meet the survivors. And you so click on my character with left mouse, left mouse button and then right click over here. Right click again so it auto speeds up a little. Rival is a turn-based strategy where you take actions during your turn. No action at the moment, so end turn. Perfect. Movement points determine how far your movement or your character can go. Some types of terrain, rock trees, swamps, glaciers and cracks require more movement points to get over. Some of them will stop you getting over. Okay. We are safe. The prophecy of a steel bird came true. Greetings, your chosen one. I am the chieftain, Gunmal. Gunmal? And this is our humble settlement. The warriors have washed and shaved their arm what? Shaved their armpits. And are now ready to heed your command. This is somewhat unorthodox, Clam. Did you instruct instructions say anything about armpits? I had to improvise, strictly for purpose of hygiene, my lady. Please hurry, chosen one. The autumn Automatons have bought, brought the coal down in our lands. All the crops have died and women and children are freezing under our roofs. Okay. This is a clan settlement. You need to become the leader of the Skyborn. Ooh, I like that. In order to establish your own faction and build a town. Okay. Right, each clan belongs to one of five people. Um, cold, cool, temperature, hot and desert. But your choice is determined not only by climate, the culture of your faction, the politics, special weapons, unique buildings, and science all depend on the selected clan. Clan of the Children of the Vault Fortress has a propensity for knowledge, descendants of the civilized townspeople, and survived the catalysm in an underground bunker. Oh, nice. These are actually survivors of the original world. In addition to the Fortress, each clan has three clan traits and find their cultural and social composition. Contracts will affect your neighbor relations. Right, yeah. Also penalties and bonuses associated with the folks and clan tracks, let's see. Right, so we get push five, signs at the end of the turns. Nice, my troops don't take radiation damage. No movement penalty on traverse woodland, that's good. Giants for these will be discovered, okay. Minus one hit points for units, slump penalty. Alright. That's 
and iron but right let's lead the clan my lady mankind has regressed more than we have predicted these savages don't even know how to build cities properly i'll do it from Doring. the ai also got out of humanity's control much earlier than predicted if members of the forecast department were alive now they deserve severe punishment are you talking bonus cuts? <laughs> no, we're not. Well, not that that's severe. We are not savages. So this kind of, um, the story-wise, it's kind of a little like Terminator in a way. Like they've made, a they've made like robots in AI that are meant to be like crazy, um, intelligent and the robots have turned on us. All right, let's build our first town. The town currently consists of seven hexes. Here you can build specialized districts and hire an army with the construction of the first town. A faction also gains access to the study of new scientists and edicts. Edicts? The highlighted row displays how much of each basic resource is generated per town. Okay, not easy. Various districts can now, con now be constructed on the town's territory, which increases the amount of resources generated. Right. My lady, the city has been built. Our losses are minimal. Three people lost their fingers while Sauron logs. One had a brick dropped on his head. He has currently... He's already received first... Wait, what? He had a brick dropped on his head and he's received first aid. He's probably dead. Perfect. Now Pete will have somewhere to live. Time to raise the education bar. Let's build a science district. Okay. Science district. And obviously we're going to build it here because you can see the free science bottles here. And it also says great for building, where if you put it over here, it says decent spot for building. So this would give me 10 signs. This would give me 25 signs. So this is clearly way better. The production queue displays the districts and units schedule for production in the town, along with the time required for their construction. Okay. Total number of citizens is displayed here. Each citizen yields 10 units of food, production, money, or signs if placed in the corresponding slots. Alright, so this wants me to move this person over to here. Oh, it builds faster, okay. Not that the number of turns required for construction of the science district has decreased. Yes, I did notice that. Clam, can you explain to me how the locals trade among themselves? What do they use for money? I went to a local market and couldn't pay with any of my credit cards. Currency is completely absent, my lady. They only use barter. Give them your necklace. I don't have any necklaces. I mean, you're clearly wearing one right there. I can see it. It's got a big blue orb around your neck. Then you'll have to teach them savages the basics of trade and then take their goods on credit. Radio select science our way. This screen displays all the sciences available for research. The technology development of your faction is achieved through the study of science, which unlocks new military units, town buildings, and other improvements. Good, good. All right, so let's. Let's trade first, yeah. Research and science take a certain amount of turns. Research speed depends on the amount of science points generated by each time. Okay. Yeah, so, end my turn. Oh, chosen one. We're freezing. Help us. Bam, it looks like the Allmind is quite off its rocker yet. It's using climate edict technology. Can you connect to the planetary control network? Let's change the climate ourselves. As you wish, my lady. That will be 500 energy credits. Do I have 500? Yeah, I do. Bam. Sorry, my lady. Program NSU. Let me switch to the emergency free mode. You should have said that from the start. Time to change our region's climate to a more favorable one. Your town receives resources from all hexes in the region. All right, okay. Provided that they have home climate of your faction. There's a special edict capsule called infrared heat on the game mode. Right, map. All right, so capsule, infrared heat. Launch. In my turn, and this should turn into my greenery. Yes, it did. All hexes in the region that have your factions, home, climate, contribute resources to the town. The more hexes you have in your home climate, the more resources the town will receive. So I think I understand that. All right, okay. So see these ones here? It's got a green background on the resource tile. These ones have a red background. So these ones are not counting towards my stuff. 
Ja, lecz. Jakiś to, je. Da over there. Launch. And another capsule over here. Oh, okay, I can do one in turn, maybe. At the end turn. It's a miracle. After all our hardships, our land have come alive again. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome. You're welcome, wild person. You owe me 500 energy credits. Sam, he's thanking me, not you. Better scan for a working data terminal in the area. Can I complete, my lady? There is an operational terminal in the ruins not far from here. There's also a communication terminal here. We can try to contact the government or other planets. Steelbird? If you were talking about the dwellings of the ancients, you shouldn't go there unharmed. Unarmed, sorry. The Automa Automatons watch over them vigilantly. Wake up, Yochi. You shall accompany the chosen one. It's a great honor, chieftain. Right, so let's... I've never seen Ottomans up close. What should we... What do we know about them, Clam? Bio-robots created through a symbiosis of organics and electronics. Apparently, they barely have any independent mind, but they are controlled by the all-mind remotely. Extremely aggressive. Long-term remote work does that to you. But units belong to the attacking army. Units belong to the defending army. Ready or so. On the first battle, we're going to have to manually battle them. But everything from here, we're just going to quick battle. So you'll only see this real battle once or maybe twice. Quick battle, basically, you don't need to do anything yourself. The regular battle is a bit different, though. Combat occurs with limited space. The first turn is given to the army that initiated the battle. The available troops are displayed on the bottom left. Their troops are displayed on the bottom right. Before the battle begins, you can place your troops on the hexes highlighted in blue. Okay. Right. All units gain extra protection against range attacks when adjacent to cover. When in the home climate, all units regain one health at the end of each round. Okay. Begin battle. Let's uh, do first attack. Attack him again. Can you get here? Yes, you can. Attack him one more time. Right, all units stationed in the forest becomes invisible to range weapons. If you have no units. On the Jason tiles. Okay. Uh, the unit is on fire. Their health will be reduced at the end of each turn. To get rid of a status, direct the unit towards a hex with marsh on it or shower them with rain using edict. No, nope. wrong one. Oh no, I did it. Okay. And we're done. We won him. We did lose one guy though. The bowman. Defeating Ottoman's nest, you would net you 200 NG mutagen samples and electronics. Okay. And I found a thousand coins. Wow. My lady, I've managed to retrieve the data from the terminal in the ruins. There are two pieces of good news. First, the United Planets government is no longer, is no more, everyone died. You call that good news? Now we don't have to answer to anyone for our actions. What actions and what do you mean our? Anyway, what's the second piece of good news? It turns out you are no longer on Earth. All right, okay. Your cryopad was teleported here just before the portal has collapsed. The name and location of the planet are unknown to me. So why is that good news? My lady, have you ever deem, uh, dreamed of ruling over a planet with savages of, on your own? On Earth, you would have to have complete compete with other defrosted emissaries. Clam, I don't even know what troubles me more. 
this good news are the situational analyst settings of your electronic brain. All right, so let's finish our turn again. We do need to get rid of his fire. Oh, lady, I forgot to tell you what I found. Uh, that I found a working control module for your staff in the ruins. Now you can use more than one edit. Apparently not good enough news to report to me. Darkism detected in your words. You just imagined it. Right, so... Doo -doo -doo. First of all, let's enable auto recon for this guy. That way, okay, he just roams around on his own and does his own thing. Alright. You can use the control modules found in the ruins either to unlock edicts or to enhance your already available ones. Well, I need to do rainfall. Clam, how do we extinguish this fire? It will burn itself up, my lady. But if you are rushing somewhere, use the rain edict. There's a capsule. Oh, wait, no, wrong thing. There's a capsule, rain. Let's make it rain. Move out of the way. Alright, so let's see what we can build in the town. Right, so we've built a science thing already, and now we need to build an agricultural district. As you can see, these both uh, free, so they'll give me 35 uh, agriculture per turn. This would only give me 25 bad building spot, bad building spot. So let's build up there. And end our turn, I'm thinking. Invented trade. Without shiny coins and expensive trinkets, the wheels of this world will cease to spin. No work can be done on an empty summit. We can now build a trade district which will allow us to get coins in the game. Trade, trade districts provide extra money via the hex they were built on. This district improves the town's economy and increases the amount of money generated. Okay. Now speed up construction by spending money on the, uh, from the treasury. In this case, the construction will be completed only on the next turn, accelerating construction of an already partially built district will cost less. All right, so let's speed that up. Boom. All right, the development of two adjacent hexes on the territory of which the city has led to the expansion of your control. Thus, it is possible to influence in which direction the city will... Oh, right, okay. The city cannot go beyond the borders of your region. If the city is built on the border, it will expand deep into your territory. Right, so I think I understand that. Clem, where are you going? Stop sulking. A Roomba is also a very helpful device for humans. Isn't a Roomba like one of them little hoover things that clean up the floor? Sulking is almost complete, my lady. My detectives have found a lead ore deposit here. We can use lead to make arrowheads heavier. Do you have chemistry textbooks, perhaps? All the knowledge of mankind was placed inside me, and unlike humans, I do not forget anything. Having studied the science of alchemy, you will be able to build a lab on hexes with scientific squares and resources. Scientific resources include lead, phosphorus, and uranium. Okay. Right, let's build a trade district. So this isn't the best spot for it. It's only got two gold and one construction. However, it's an all right spot for it. So we're going to go with this here, I think. All right, so we need to clear the ancient rooms at some point as well. But for now, let's bring you back over to there because you're on fire. That's a capsule. Yeah. Place the capsule there. So I gotta choose. Um, yeah, I gotta choose how hot it is, and it will change depending on how hot I want it. I never knew that actually. Right, so let's do some science, alchemy. So we're going to be in that uh, science screen a lot, I think. Right, 
Right, so as you can see, this is all turned greenery now. I need to do it down here a bit as well. Um, I don't know why that's cracked. There's one more there, but we can ignore that for now. As you can see, there's a lot of red down here, so we're going to probably actually focus on that as well. And now turn again. Invented alchemy. Why don't we mix this fluid with that one? Without alchem alchemical experimentation, we will never learn about the nature of basic elements. Namely, blood, fire, water, flesh, and so on. Okay. Sam, who are these people in my kitchen, and why do I smell burning? My lady, you yourself ordered me to prepare the alchemist for lead extraction. But why did I have to destroy my dining table for this? Grab a worker and go to the lab. Uh, go build a lab for these vandals somewhere far away before they burn the whole city down and tell that guy over there to put the silver spoon back in the cupboard. Wow, what a thief. Sorry, my lady. We'll clean up right now. All construction outside the city is carried out with the help of a special worker units. Create a worker in your city and then send them to build a lab. Okay. So, worker, bang. And I'm actually going to speed them up. Oh, no, I'm not. It's not going to let me yet. And this is where we're going to build it. But for now, we are just placing capsules around just for more resources. Oh, and we need to do another research, okay. Right, we're going to go through infrastructure to get Beast Burn. So guys, if you um, click the last one in the thing, it'll do a thing before it as well. Oh, and we also need to make docks, so... But yeah, we're going to go for elephants because they're quite strong. Quick purchase that. Then turn straight away. Invented infrastructure. Without a robust, well functioning change of command, every enterprise is doomed to fail. Start researching Beast of the Burden. You can now build the following structure Administrative District. Districts provide extra prosperity via the hex they were built on. A road is automatically built between faction towns that contain at least one administrative building. Allows units to travel faster on town hexes. Alright, okay. The worker awaits your orders, okay. Chosen one, you ask for a skillful builder. He's ready. And awaiting your orders. My lady, I'd like to give him a sanity checkup first. Not that important right now, Clam. Have him go build the lab right away. Okie dokie. Boom. Build. Laboratory. Gunmel, he's a blueprint. He's a blueprint for new arrows with heavy lead tips. Thanks, Chosen One. But we're used to shooting light arrows. They fly far up. They fly far and accurately. Besides, they come in handy for picking teeth than lead ones. Chieftain, I can do sanit sanitation more often than twice a day. No, no need, Steelbird. We've got your point and we're ready to try out your new tips. Okay. And um, build an archer. Increase equipment. Bang. Bang. Build. Right, so build the archer there. It's end turn again. We're running out of um, energy, so we need to figure out what we're going to do with that. If you want to turn these into our squares, turn these into our squares. And some of these over here. Chosen one, we have some disturbing news from our blessed brothers, neighbor and tribe. They have been attacked by enemies and they're asking for our help. Are there any more people here? Come, find out how to reach them. Yes, my lady. My lady, there is no path to the neighboring clan. Two monster uh, Mount Aeneas. But I have an idea. You know how to skate? You have access to my file, and you know very well I'm the master of speed skating. I was just double checking your memory. Anyway, I've discovered a lake that once you're frozen it, once you frozen it, 
you can cross to reach the neighboring regions. Great idea, clan. Right, perfect. So let's bring you over here. That's the capsule. Freeze. Bang. Bang, bang. Launch. Oh, yeah, enter. Invented a beast of burden. Right, so we've unlocked elephants now. Which are good, because elephants are quite strong. Strange, I can't see any people in the settlement for some reason. Agreed, my lady. It looks suspicious that we burned down this village. Yes. I'll get closer. In the meantime, turn down the humor levels in your settings. I have no humor unit at all. And do I need to do what it's telling me to do right now? I would rather... Build some troops. There's no decent spot to build, which is um, uh, um Let's do another agricultural area. Let's go here. Right, so you want me to go here? My name is Maruna. I'm a chieftain of the Blessed Brothers Clan. Who are you? And what's that flying pot next to you? My lady, my proposal to burn down this village is still on the table. We come in peace. I'm Emissary Tania Olazar, and this is my assistant clan. What happened here? Where are all the people? Our people are hiding in cellars because of the constant raids of the pale creatures. They're a clan of murderous, murderers living in the mountains. We can protect you if you agree to join our faction. I do not trust you. Prove your intentions pure. Okay. Now this is your range bar of clan loyalty towards your faction. Loyalty can increase or decrease depending on your actions. Okay. The clan's worldviews are listed here. The clan may like some of your actions of your faction and loyalty will, will increase. But there are factions that can decrease loyalty. Uh, actions that can decrease loyalty. And loyalty will change in the next round by this volume. Diplomacy. Right, on this tab, you can select actions that will increase clan loyalty. The easiest way to boost loyalty is to make a commitment. You can promise the clan to do or not to do something, and you'll get an immediate increase in loyalty. Each of a commitment made will decrease loyalty. Loyalty will not increase all at once, but gradually. This increases the trend of clan loyalty, taking all factors into account. Okay. They want me to initiate an attack against an unfriendly clan. I'd rather not. I don't have a big army yet. Um, find the settlement of these murderers. Consider it done. And we found them. My lady, I found the Pale Preacher's settlement. Shall I burn them down? Um, you can't burn them down. When the old man got out of control, all robots of your class had their lasers cut. And other weapon programs. A program to be locked down just in case. What? What an outrage. I had big plans for the future. And now I see it was not in vain. We will destroy this clan, but force them to peace. But lady, can you unlock my weapons? No, unfortunately, the programmers who locked it down died a thousand years ago. This information makes me both sad and happy at the same time. Before attacking a clan settlement or town, bring as many troops to that region as possible. All your troops in the region can join the battle as reinforcements. A troop may engage in... Only one battle per round. All right. Let's bring you here. Let's start making loads of troops here. Right, let's speed you up. So this might take quite a few turns, okay, to get my army sorted out, but it'll be worth it. Um, how's research going? Alright, docks again. Started, okay. I'm just gonna try to skip quite a few turns and try to get this uh, going super fast. Invented docks. A wild shaw is only good for a fisherman's boat. 
No army leader or merchant will ever agree to put cargo on a personal and personnel on board without at least a basic wooden dock. You can now build the following structure. Port district. Radio. Right, so let's do money. Right, let's go there. Science, okay. More science. More science. And let's do it. Okay. So we're just going to spam end turns again. Create subsidies. Commerce in the backbone of our society. This is why any trader from a poor shoemaker to a rich merchant may rightfully expect our full support. Nice. Right, so we've got two elephants now. Invented farming. The barking of dogs and moon a cow is smoke out the chimney. We are proud to call our farms our home. So let's, oh, let's bring our elephants out. Merge with the garrison, yes. Why aren't they coming out this way? No. Oh, okay, I could. I understand now. Invented Nexus. This is what the Philosopher's Stone looks like. We're sure of it. And yet the strange construction created from ancient blueprints is the greatest achievement of our philosophy to this day. We now build the following structure, Hyper Nexus. Building the vault remember a lot of things about the beautiful world of the past. Its technology is comparable to miracles, for other nations missing a mining energy from the all mine network largely remains more of a blind ritual than science. We could explain the technological side to them as well as how Hyper Nexus works, okay? Invented schools, nice. Our wise men need some, some place to gather and pass their wisdom to the young seekers of truth. Hopefully these are actually going to get thrown. They're not, are they? All right. All right, let's merge you into you. All right. Let's merge you into you. Bring you up here as well. So from the looks of it, I'm going to just have to attack these without a good troops. I'm going to lose the fight, but that's fine. You want to attack this clan? Okay. Big battle. Oh, no, I won. Okay. It's because of my elephant, I think. Because you won. I knew you were a born warlord. It's easy to become a warlord when you have a staff that grants immortality, my lady. What shall we do with the defeated? I think we should subsidize, subdue this clan and make it a vassal. And I beg you, clan, make sure they get plenty of sanitation. Consider it done. After defeating clan, you can force assimilate it, making it part of your faction or vandalize it, uh, vassalize it, and get reputation points every round. You can also lay your vassal under tribute and hire out their warriors for money. Strategic resources can be mined in the vassal's region. Okay. You've proven your intentions are pure. Now the people of my clan are willing to become part of your faction. We shall bring happiness and prosperity to our people. Glad to hear that, Maruna. Do any of your people happen to be programmers? We don't have any programmers. But we do have fishermen and healers. We can teach you how to build wharfs, and your warriors will now recover faster from battle. That's a pity. It is. All right, so diplomacy, simulate. Right, so let's see what we got. 
Oh, prosperity, that's good. Reputation, food. Okay, infrastructure, dox, alchemy. Perfect. Following a simulation, your faction games a randomly chosen property of the clan being assimilated. The Equinix science allows you to choose prosperity yourself. Good morning, my lady. How are you feeling? Don't even ask, Clam. The shaman gave me some kind of beverage at the assimilation ceremony. I don't even remember anything after that. Do you know what happened? Well, first you tried to vacuum Maruna's carpet with me, and then you apparently mistook me for your video dictaphone. I can scroll through the f recording. Let me see. Morning, Clam. So, I ran some diagnostics, and it looks like your recording module's working. That's a relief. You should get this message as soon as you're awake. A lot has happened the past few days. I'm not even sure where to start. We reconciled with the Blessed Brothers, although it took a tremendous amount of effort in what I tried to pass for diplomacy. Gunmal arranged a solemn ceremony and called the clan Shaman. The guy sliced his palm and spilled some blood into a cauldron filled with a strange-smelling brew. Starting with Maruna, each member of the entire Blessed Brothers clan took a sip. Some of the people refused, packed up their stuff, and then vanished into the dark. I couldn't sleep at all that night because of all the screams and groans coming from the Blessed Brothers camp. Gunmall warned me that this would happen. He told me not to interfere. I was worried I'd insult their faith, so I had to take his word on it. The next morning, I could finally make some sense of the situation. It turns out that one of Maruna's warriors needed the shaman's help, and he was kind enough to invite me along. The warrior didn't look well. At all. His blackened veins seemed to bind his body, restricting movement. He is beyond help, the shaman sighed. Our land did not accept him. This is the eighth one for the night. The rest will survive. There's so much we don't know about this new world. I didn't have a chance to analyze the town residents' DNA, but living in their home climate is apparently not a matter of comfort for them, but of survival. Get well soon, my friends. Let's solve this riddle together, like in the good old days. Interesting. Chosen one, we are ready to start building the town. That's good, Clam. Delete the recording and let's go find a place for the town. Once the Clam clan is assimilated, its region joins your faction, and the settlement becomes a military outpost with the MSC. You can now build a town in a new region. And exactly why I was going to build it over here. Oh. My lady, the local savages are fond of fishing. Let's build a wharf for them. Clam, these are no longer savages, but citizens of our faction. Just like you and me, be polite to them. First, let's build a port. Let's build that. Agriculture. Boom. Science. Boom. Right, and there's a town done already. Right, so what can I do with this? By their people, but that's pricey, really pricey. Uh, I think there's a lot, yeah, a lot more land than I thought. Oh no, I just goes in a circle, okay. Nothing's been built in this town right now, but I do have giant stuff there. Agricultural. Let's put another one there. Upgrade the town hall as well. Administration building. So there isn't really any amazing spot here. Actually. I wonder if that goes well on this slot here. Bring you over here real quick. So I can check. Alright, speed up a little more. It grew a bit more, nice. Alright, 
pleasure capsule. You go over there a second. Hold on. Alright, I need to figure this out. Let's capsule. Alright, launch. It's not going to do this one here though, next to it, is it? Okay, I don't have enough energy, okay, that's why. No big deal though. Let's get my elephants back over. Invented mathematics, let's build a parabola, parabola from the projectile to this target. Projectile weight, PX, okay. A lady, I think I picked up signals from a working portal. Excellent, find its location while I pack my bags. I've located the portal, but it seems to be blocked. I think you should come here yourself. That's good. Okie dokie. I'll do that in a bit. But right now. Priority is to kill this over here. I just realised how little gold we're actually getting right now, so we need to... Add more gold as soon as possible. Alright, let's attack this. Quick battle. As you can see, we've got all of these troops now. There's no way it's going to win us. Done. Alright, um... My gold is to make this town bigger. Invented scientific grants. Without science, we would not even be where we are now. And how many science, uh, secrets await up ahead? Our men of wisdom and seekers of truth must enjoy a special standing in our society. Okay. So let's upgrade our town hall straight away. Right. When will this town expand again? We need more gold. What about this one? Yeah, okay. Let's. Hmm. What I need to do, okay, plus capsule. Here. And turn. Oh, yeah, launch. <laughs> right. This will turn these into good ones. And then I can make another gold thing here. Boom. There we go. I saw. Let's go. More than the infrared heat. Invented tools. We will need great, uh, good tools if we have a good grasp on complex technology and master them in due time. That is fun. You can now build the following structures Industrial District. Industrial District provides extra production for each hex and they were built on. The, the district needs to increase the town's production. Okay. Right, what about this town? Yeah, yeah. Right. That'll help me with the gold just a tiny bit, but not really. But that does. Okay. That give me extra gold. So I need to build a worker over here. Get rid of a stupid tree. Invented smelting, okay. Bronze Age Part 2 started researching chainmail. Let's bring let's bring you over here real quick. When this worker is done, I need to destroy this tree. 
invented chain mill. It's pretty obvious that the shirt made up of interwine bronze scales is great complexity was weaved by a true craftsmanship. It also doesn't hinder movement, yet offers safety from arrows and stones. Right, so How long? Four turns. Alright. Anomalous materials. Radioactive elements affects everything from the mineral composite composition to the ground. Alright. We've got work uh, we're building workshops now. Invented workshops and now we're doing hammers. So cut down this totem, it'll take three turns, and then we'll be able to change this ground into our type of ground. Which is good, but we need to start using these resource tiles soon. So what we got over here? Hmm. Right, we're just going to have to build up there, even though it's not that great. Build that way, even though it's not accurate. Perfect. Right. So soon I'm going to have to turn these into our, to my land. Um, I guess my town can come through here as well. Maybe. Right. Perfect. Um, place capsule. You are always in the way, aren't you? Let's capsule. Right, this should work. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll just refreeze that one, it's fine. Um, yeah, end turn. Invented hammers. It was ex accidentally established the tools of our craftsmanship could be used as melee weapons as any journeyman will tell you a good hammer will crack any armor i guess that is true yeah wait did i need to cool that down not I'll just cool that down first. A little bit out of time. I realise we don't have much uh, energy left. This is why this town can't grow right now because it just, as you can see, um, can't get past these points here. It'll grow here, maybe into them too, but that's about it. Why? Let's build a worker over here. I'm going to speed him up. Right. Please do that. And then we'll do the one over here. Um. Level five mine. Can I beat this? No, I can't. Okay. Oh wait, I can do something there, but and just drill. Right, let's do a few turns again. Put you there so you can start healing up. Blessing weapons. A skillful warrior needs a good professional weapon. Be it an axe to crush the enemy's armor or a sword to pierce it. Right, so I think we're good on our research. Here we are. So let's just upgrade these last two, because why not? Um, and do Temple of All Mother. Then we want to do Banking to get more money straight away. After we've done all four of them, we can, um, we can start upgrading our buildings that we've already built. And there's my second ruin getting cleared. He's healing up.
It is too bad though. But this can't go over here. Invented hunting. Bring down Bring down only that you shall eat. A true hunter never takes a life in vain and always grants their prey a chance to escape. Oh, okay, it can go over the water. I don't know why I didn't bother last time. So let's uh let's start fighting this in a moment. Invented a crossbow. As a master mechanics, our machines grow more and more intricate, including the device meant for poking holes at enemies for at a distance. And perfect, quick battle. Didn't lose any enemies, that's good. Right, clear the runes. Now that I've got more stuff, first capsule, breezy freeze. I think I just need you to be freezed. Did I pick the, I picked the wrong one, didn't I? That was stupid. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Oh no, that was right, damn it. First capsule. Launch. And that is turned into greens now, so I can start using this land. Which is good because let's see. Right, trade, it's gone there. And um, what are you science? Okay, let's put science in. But now this this town should start growing crazy amounts. Um I do need administration building though, and no matter where I build it, it's gonna be bad, so I'm gonna build it here. Um Okay, plus capsule. Damn it. I do need you over there, Bob, real quick. Well, lead from cleaning these runes down here. Nice. Let's go exploring a bit more. Vault archives. Finally, we possess enough knowledge and to decipher the ancient archives of the vault. Composed by the underground ancestors for many eons ago. Right, so the Alm Over is the next stage of the resources uh, for the research, so it'll be like T2 researchers from now on. Also, I forgot I could do this. Right, so let's see. Elephants, where you are? Four, five, six, seven. One, five, seven. No. Hold on. Bring me over relevant silver. Right. Hopefully, between all of my enemies. I'm not winning this no matter what, but I'm gonna fight him anyway. Oh no, I won, okay. I don't know how that happened. So this game could really do with a multiplayer version, like there's no multiplayer on this game, I would love to be against some friends. But it is what it is. And that's a great spot, okay. Bring you back over this way. You'll be placed in a capsule next turn. 
Temple of the Almond Rock. Be fruitful and fill the earth. What else could we wish upon our populace? What could be more important than the post apocalyptic world, our propaganda, and the cult of form and health? Start research and banking. Okay. You can now build the following structures Temple of the Old Mother. Be fruitful and fill. Oh, yeah, I've just read that. Right, so. Anything else to build over here? Because. Yeah, I need to build an administration building. I'm going to build it over there. You can place a capsule. Here. Oh, that's a lot, you know. 800 for that, wow. Oh, it's fine, I'll do it. Not do these ones here. That's the one I wanted it to do. Oh well, whatever. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. Is there anything else to do with this guy over here? No, not right now. Um, let's bring my elephants over this way. Perfect. Big battle them. I should have healed up first. I lost the elephant, damn it. Ooh, invented banking, okay. Um but now, if I click on my town, upgrade, upgrade. No, that's not an upgrade. All my money comes from here though, so let's upgrade everything to tier two. I didn't realize I had two, okay. Discovered lead, nice. That would upgrade universities, okay. I'd like to upgrade these as well. So we're now on tier two buildings. And you see our gold like crazy high already. Universities, okay. Can we upgrade anything else? Yes, we can. Down here went from 35 to 60 science. And my science is like crazy high now. But that'll go to 60 as well when... Uh, I don't have any constructions here, okay. That's a capsule. Alright, that's going to be expensive, but it's worth it. Because it'll turn everything into my land. There we go. So now my town can expand over to this way. I shouldn't have any issues anymore. Right, so I got nothing else to research yet. So let's see. Our district. Administration level two. More money. Me again. Okay, we'll do that for now. Guaranteed loss. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> um, let's get back over there. Right, so they can go over the water. That little water. I don't know why it wasn't too far. Right, so can I upgrade anything else? Yet? Yes. Alright, invented parliament. By now you 
have so much politicians, organizations, and political movement, it's time to gather all of them in one pretty building and lock them in until all of them agree upon peace. We have now unlocked trade routes. Thank you. Come over here. Right, trade routes. We cannot trade with ourselves. We must expand our trade network so that trade routes reach each profitable point on the map via a newly discovered metal vein or an open air farmers market. Right, well that is a foundry. Um over here because you will be building some else soon. Right, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. How about you guys? Yep. Logistics. Build modern army in a modern state will not last a day without people responsible for some cargo getting where it needs to be. Okay. Keep on trade. Our fleet keeps growing, which means we must expand our naval trade and receive regular pay from all those vessels carrying back and forth. Plus, our colonies will be thank you if we do have any colonies. So, can I upgrade anything else? Nope. Fine, though. Right, it's absolutely clear science must be preoccupied with the development of human breed. Only a fool will claim human nature is perfect and should not be subject to the same attention we pay to animals and plants. So, what have we got now? Let's do that. And that. I've never actually been this far in the science or have a town this big. What I might do right now, actually. We're going to build a massive army. Uh, I mean, a massive one. <laughs> However, right now, that's a capsule. Yeah, encryption. Both our scientific progress, trade secrets, and last but not least, military codes. Why do we have military codes? We benefit from this full flight cryptographic system, only accessible to someone belonging to our faction and nobody else. Okay, whatever. I'm there for now because I need to do this little bit here. Them eventually, but they can wait. Let's uh, speed up all of these. We have the gold to do it, so why not do it? Gosh, it'll be crazy expensive for us to maintain this army, but it's fine. We most of them will die pretty quickly anyway. Boom. Oh wait, wait, wait. Put these in here. And I'll take a second army out. And do I have one more army in here? Yes, I do. Well, not quite, but they'll do for now. I just realized, but I'm still able to maintain this many troops with gold. Plate armor. Our craftsmen performed a miracle. The plate hind hinders movement, but not to the point where its owner would lose combat value. That research in Nexus 2.0. Let's bring our army all the way down here. Perfect. Nexus 2.0 is done. 
much sacrificing people for um for other stuff and I don't really want to do that. A prison victory, okay let's do it. Perfect. Make another win. Oh wait, no. Um, clear the ruins. Let's bring our army out and let's explore a little more. Invented best minds. Thanks to the education program we inherited from our ancestors. Word of mouth form. How people may boast in the most advanced erud erudition and intellect intellect just don't go beyond thinking you're smarter than everyone else i am smarter than everyone else what are you talking about oh okay so i'm upgrading my town halls now let's see how my town evolves from this point no real upgrade <laughs> let's find that um A vassal of your people, your people can be assimilated with hero loyalty. That's good, though. I'll do that one. And then let's do the super fast. Oh, nice. My my walls have upgraded. There were wooden walls before, now they're stone. By the way, my character is giant. Perfect. I've got so much of a land now that's mine. <laughs> Cathedral of Reconnaissance. Okay. You can now build the following structure. Cathedral of Recon Reconnaissance. That's a mouthful. I just realized as well my ships are like crazy now. They were like little boats before. I'll just keep exploring for now, you know. No harm in that. Selection, we've learned the correct... Uh, we've learned to correct the nature of plants and animals. Started ex doing a stock exchange, okay. Um, right. Upgrade, upgrade. What can I build in these places? I let that done. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Nice, they're looking good now. Right, let's um, do some acid rain. Why not? You're the first to build the temple of all mother. History will remember you. Okay. Invented stock exchange here. And demand instantly create supply hot air sold on daily basis and hundreds of brokers pour every fluctuation of every number. Alright, so this will give me a lot more gold then. I'm glad I did that. Well that's that give me 120 gold, let's see. Oh no, so it only goes up a little. Chemistry, no longer just alchemy. Our mixtures burn and go boom. Because this is what we want. Not a result of some lab accident. <laughs> right guys, so I think we've pretty much done everything we can on the tutorial. Like right now we're just researching stuff to research it. There's no 
there's nothing else for us to really do. So we're going to end the tutorial here by going up to where I wanted us to go a long time ago. The All Mind. A human has to say their name and put their hands to the analyzer. Tania Eliza, MSC of the Earth Colonies. Human identification complete. Human has met the portal unlocking condition. Human is authorized to use the portal. That's gratifying, of course, but I need I need a classification. Switch to formal detection to courteous level four. Sure, dear Tania. Since there are no competitors, you automatically become the winner of my planet. Congratulations, but that doesn't mean you did a bad job. You're a good girl. The progress of civilization is now uh, on the right track, thanks to you. No additional adjustments necessary. I can send you to any planet of your choice. Send me to Earth, but first, I'll say goodbye to my people and record a message for future generations. The year is 4115, and my name is Tanya Olazar. I'm an astrogeologist and one of the scientists that worked on Project Allmind. We wanted to create the most powerful artificial intelligence known to humankind. This message is being recorded a thousand years after the collapse of civilization. My colleagues, my friends, we're to blame for the decimation of the human race. I don't know if anyone else from my team is still alive. And I don't know if anyone will see this. But I have to ask for forgiveness. If you can, forgive us for our arrogance, for trying to play gods, and for destroying everything that we loved. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. There are survivors. They may seem primitive, but they managed to do what we couldn't. Survive and adapt to this new world. And they're my only chance to atone for my sins. I'm going to help humanity regain its former glory and stop the All Mind. Wish me luck. And there we have it, guys. That is the end of the tutorial. And sadly, the end of the video. Thank you everyone that came by to check out this video and see what the game was about. I hope you all enjoyed. So it just put me into a, a game straight away, which I'm not going to do because it'd take three, four hours. But uh, I might come back on the game another time, make another video and try to do a, a full length game of it. But we'll see. But again, uh, I got this I got this game for free from Key Miller. So thank you, Key Miller and Herocraft, which is the developer of this game. For the key. And hope to see you all here next time. Goodbye.